there is a space race going on right now for minerals for electric car batteries. People don't have any idea of the immense wealth that's sitting just not that far away from the planet. In fact, a single asteroid, which NASA and SpaceX, with Elon Musk, of course, is sitting not far away within the reach of SpaceX's latest and newest rockets. That one asteroid is worth 10 quintillion dollars, meaning the valuable metals in that asteroid are worth more than the, all of the wealth on planet Earth put together. Now, the crazy thing is there is no rules whatsoever for companies who want to go and take that asteroid. If you want to, you want to go mine it, you're actually legally allowed to. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is an asteroid field with enough minerals and metals to make about 1 trillion electric cars. Not that we're ever going to need that. Here's what's happening. And here's what NASA and SpaceX, along with Elon Musk, of course, are planning to do. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. And when you think about the wealth here, it just boggles the mind. A single asteroid in a belt full of asteroids. This is one of the smaller, less valuable asteroids. This is the closest one, by the way, is worth more than all the wealth in the world combined. How is that even possible? You may have already heard about this story before because NASA planned with SpaceX, of course, using a SpaceX rocket, bizarre to say that, but anyhow, to fly to this asteroid to check what is actually in that rock. Now they believe it's worth 10 quintillion dollars. This, the number quintillion is not a number we hear very often because it's not even after a trillion. You get a trillion, then a quadrillion, then a quintillion. However, the craziest part about all of this story is that there is another asteroid not too far away called Davida. Now this asteroid called Davida is actually valued at 27 quintillion. So three times more than the closer asteroid that SpaceX and NASA are flying to this year. The entire asteroid belt is worth many, many times more than that. Now, Elon Musk has been saying for a long time, he plans on traveling to Mars. And that's the key reason for the drive behind SpaceX and all the investment going into building rockets capable of getting human civilization to Mars. But I'm pretty sure Elon Musk is aware that he is going to have an insane amount of power and wealth once SpaceX work out a way to extract the minerals from this asteroid. Keep in mind, Elon Musk has ownership of SpaceX. In fact, he owns nearly 50% of the only company on the face of the planet that might potentially be able to pull this off. NASA now says it's only 100 days away from launching a SpaceX spacecraft to study this asteroid. The asteroid is thought to be made up of $10 quintillion worth of gold, iron, and nickel, and many other precious metals. A SpaceX rocket will launch a spacecraft to the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter very soon. NASA announced it was under 100 days away from launching this spacecraft, and it is going ahead. The Space Agency's Jet Propulsion Lab said it had recently completed a comprehensive test on the flight software and installed it on the spacecraft. That cleared a key hurdle that caused the probe to miss its original 2022 launch date. The 173 mile wide asteroid is known as 16 Psyche, and is thought to be made up of gold, iron, nickel, and many other precious metals. The ore on the asteroid has been estimated to be worth 10 quintillion alone. Based on the price of that metal in 2020. And of course, NASA is not doing this alone. It is collaborating with Elon Musk and with SpaceX to actually pull this off. American, the American government is very well aware that even if they split the value of this asteroid with SpaceX, this would still be enough to pull possibly America out of the greatest debt it's ever seen in history. It could potentially pay off its debtors by simply 
extracting the metals from a single asteroid. But if it was able to develop the technology to do that for this asteroid, then this could be just the tip of the iceberg. The 2015 US Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act gives companies the legal right to the materials mined from celestial bodies. Firms have already sprung up to test technology that could theoretically make this work. This is the greatest race for wealth in the history of mankind, because this is not like discovering some kind of oil field or gold field or even some kind of incredible source of lithium. The value of this metal, of the metals on these asteroids, goes far beyond anything that I think anyone can possibly imagine. Meanwhile, NASA's mission is also scientific and geared toward learning more about planetary cores and how planets form in order for the US government to extract the wealth. The spacecraft is set to launch in October on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket before heading on a six year trek to the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The satellite would then orbit the asteroid for 26 months, studying and photographing the body to learn its history, its mineral composition, and how exactly the US government, along with SpaceX, plan on being able to extract the metals. I added that part into the news reports, but come on, as if they're not thinking about it. You'd have to be. While NASA focuses on 16 Psyche, the agency previously said that the belt it resided in was full of ore-rich asteroids worth a total of 700 quintillion. That's about 100 times more wealth than the entire world's wealth combined. The most valuable asteroid in the belt, Davida, is worth 27 quintillion. Though a potentially lucrative business for the future, very lucrative, the inflow of valuable minerals from space wouldn't produce as much money as it sounds. Now, of course, a supply glut would drive metal prices down. However, obviously these numbers are based on today's values. And once all this metal hit the supply chain, the value of them would plummet. That doesn't mean they'd be worth nothing though, because keep in mind, there's a lot of gold there. There's a lot of precious minerals and there's a lot that they don't know about. It's possible that the wealth there could be significantly less than what's believed and it could be significantly more. But either way, yes, it's true that it won't actually pay out quite this way. That said, it would still be more than enough money for the US government to pay off its debts completely. And for Elon Musk to confirm his status as the richest person in human history. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.